going on, everybody? This is going to be uh, a rundown of a old trailer I I got, and I uh, turned it into a, a kayak trailer. My Pathfinder 14 is really heavy, and it's really annoying to have to put the whole thing together every time I want to load it and unload it. And so I got this and worked on it for about a week or so. And uh, there's a video just showing how I did it. I ended up starting off with uh, just kind of stripping it down, taking everything off, starting with the lights. Uh, I had new LED lights, so I didn't need these anymore. I didn't need any of this stuff anymore. Took the, the wood with the carpet on there, ripped all that off, cut the brackets off. The rollers, I was going to keep the rollers, and then I decided not to. I to get off. I had to cut, I think, two of them. I had to cut the pins. But uh, I ended up cutting off the, uh, the pins, and then I cut off the whole bracket that the rollers sit on. Um, but before I cut it off, I, I started chipping paint. Uh, this tool I'm using is a, it's called a, a needle scaler. Uh, it just blows air through there and it, it moves these little rods around and it just takes the paint off really well. But when I started doing this, I was like, man, I should cut these brackets off. So I decided to cut the bracket off. Super stubborn. Hard to cut through, but eventually got through it. Put the wire and then. The showing uh, cutting off the other brackets. It was a, a long process of getting everything ready for paint, sanding it down, getting everything nice and smooth. Grinding it down, and then it was back to chipping paint and chipping more paint. And more paint. It was tedious, but it was worth it. I wanted to get it as smooth and as clean looking as I possibly could. And I think it turned out pretty good. New lights, new set of tires. Uh, I used the uh, <clears throat> the old tire, uh, painted it white, painted the actual tire, uh, painted the wind rim white, painted the tire black. Uh, this is uh, Unistrut. They use it in like uh, electrical, uh, hanging up like circuit boxes and stuff. And it worked really well to, to be able to hold these PVC pipes in place. There's like a, you drill a big hole on the top there, uh, and then a small hole in the bottom. And you put a bolt with a washer, and it goes down into this uh, little spring screw. And it, I mean, it just holds it super tight. This is the uh, electric that I ran. had to drill a couple holes. They had it just kind of wrapped around the frame. I bought a new uh, bumper up here. 
the other one was pretty roached out and I wanted to keep that like I said I sprayed the tire trying to make it look new as possible made a little bracket mount for it to hold it there placed the rope sprayed all that made that look real good uh, these are just little balls because I didn't think I'd be able to see uh, the you know see the trailer when it was behind me so these little um, balls help and this is just me loading it right here I ended up uh, after I painted the PVC right there I I, I put uh, Gorilla Tape and laid it down just so the paint wouldn't get too scratched up as I was loading it and unloading it that's why you couldn't see the large holes that I also you know that I drilled into the PVC to go down into the Unistrut But uh, the way the kayak is designed, it uh, it has grooves in the front part. Uh, I think they're called keels, uh, and then in the back part of the outriggers, it doesn't. But it still sits up there pretty good. And I just use this front just to hold it up nice and tight. This is showing the keels a little bit where the PVC uh, lines perfectly up with them, and it sits. I mean, just right down onto them. Thing ain't going anywhere. And this is just uh, with it all loaded. Keep my battery, my motor, everything right on there. So much easier. But yeah. There it is. <clears throat> Not too bad. Thanks for watching.